demonstrate how we made the CI YAML processor to use uh, feature flags with Actor. Uh, this, this was one feature we implemented during the Verify Hackathon week. Um, until then, the CI YAML processor, which is the um, component responsible for parsing the CI uh, configurations, uh, it wasn't. We weren't allowed to use the um, the feature flags with an actor. So we were only using feature flag without actor, which means we can only label a specific functionality for all the projects across the GitLab.com. Um, and and this is like a kind of very risky area of of the code, you know, changing the logic on how we parse the CI configurations. And we wanted to make sure that we have a safer way to introduce changes. Um, so with a uh, project actor which is the the only actor that we are currently supporting with this uh, new feature we are allowing basically the, the we can introduce new functionality for and enable them for specific project to test it and then make sure that we, it test it works properly in production because before we actually enable for gitlab projects and, ev and everything um, and in and, and finally for all the saas projects so the way this works is that we um we uh, define a new module that uh, is within the YAML processor uh, called feature flags that uh, it defines this uh, with actor block and takes an input the project. So, and this is because the YAML processor has knowledge of what projects it's running on. And anything within this block, uh, in this case, parse config, will be, um, will have this uh, actor project uh, stored with, with um, within. So <clears throat> in other parts of the code, which could be a different class, for example, but as long as it runs within this, this block, um, we can reuse the same module and, and use this different method called enabled for to check that the feature flag is enabled. In this case, it, we don't, it doesn't take an input the, the project because the project object here, it might not be available, but it's stored within the context of the of the block and then so we are allowing uh, internally we are actually checking the feature flag against that specific actor um, that allows us to really do um, um, incremental rollout this way using a project actor so in this specific just to demonstrate how this works I, I added a simple description keyword called desk so let's say for a job we want to add some kind of textual description and but we want to ensure that when the feature flag is disabled. We we uh, we validate the absence of uh, of this uh, keyword just because we want to to be only used when the feature flag uh, is enabled. And and then here we actually run the the, the check. So to see this in action, um, I have here like a test project. And if I use here the new keyword called desk, this is a description. Uh, the validation fails as expected, saying this must be blank because the feature flag for this project in general is, is disabled. So if we go to our console and say feature in a build CI job description, this says it's false. So let's enable it for, for the project. So I have a project here, uh, project find by full path. Which is called root test, and um, uh, for this project we want to enable the feature flag. So we call feature enable project. Okay, so now this is enabled uh, for this project. Let, let me just refresh the page to make sure things are not cached or anything. So in this case now, we have the same configuration tells us that it's valid. So let's actually try to rerun the validation it says, yeah, this keyword is now recognized because uh, we just enabled the feature flag for this specific project. But if we look in general at the feature flag, um, the feature flag is still disabled globally, but it's enabled only for that specific project.